Okay, so now we're gonna go to that final cool move that I was talking about. This one's a little bit harder to pull off and it, it requires a little bit of drilling, but it kind of utilizes all of the principles we just covered in those previous moves. So this time, I'm gonna do that same step we did on the initial guard pull. So this is gonna kind of look like a similar twirling movement, but I want you to pay attention to what his legs do here, okay? So by stepping across his body like this, it pulls that leg towards me, right? So what that means is we have to kind of fast forward what's the next step. So if I go like this and he steps there, when I turn, he's gonna step with that right leg forward. So if I don't get my foot up in time, he's gonna step and I'm gonna kind of meet like a sturdy leg. So he's, he's going like this, he's going, and I'm going. So it's one, two, and one, two. So this is a, this is a timing based move. So the key here is that I go one, and then before he, we both go two, as he lifts his leg up to step, my foot is going to block that step. So he never gets his chance to get that, re, that uh, step that balances him again. So I'm gonna do that with grips now. I have this sleeve grip and you can grab higher. This one works re really well with a higher grip also. And he could kind of be grabbed, yeah, just grab there. So I step across and he steps. And then before he has a chance to take his step that regains his balance, my foot is gonna go right here. So here's his kneecap right here. This is his kneecap. I want you to step above his kneecap. I don't want you to kick him. You're stepping your foot lightly. So as I stepped across, reset, stepping across, I'm not kicking him. And I may even step a little bit close to him. I don't have to step far away. I can step close to him because my foot is gonna just plant right here. So I'm not doing that big rotational loop like we did with the first one. That one was momentum based. We want him to think we're gonna do something like that. So he kind of is rigid but instead we do a shorter turn and my foot just goes right here. And instead of like falling to the ground in, in like rotating fashion, I'm just gonna lower myself to the ground and I keep that leg extended. So when he tries to step that leg forward to regain his balance and he can't plant to the ground here because I'm holding the arm, so go ahead and plant. If I'm not holding it, you can plant, right? And then that kind of beats everything. But if I'm holding his arm, he tries to plant, he can't. And I pulled him into me and we can sweep right off the pole. So we'll try and make this look smooth. So we're here. I step. That was a pretty good one. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> okay, so this is a great, a great way to pull guard and also sweep. And if the great one thing about it is it's very low risk because if it fails, I'm just in guard. I just didn't sweep him, no big deal. So step. And that part's unnecessary, but it makes it really stick, okay? Any, any questions on this one? So just really focus on, the, the hardest part about doing like timing based reversals and sweeps like this is not to look at his feet. You don't wanna like look and be like, okay, he stepped, now it's time. You want to build, like, build up the confidence that you know that like, even if your eyes are closed and you do this movement, that leg should step there. Did it step there? Kind of. Okay, good. And then obviously don't close your eyes when you're trying to go to the knee. And then I'm not falling to my left. I'm literally falling straight down and pulling him into me. So I engage to bring his weight towards me and that makes his, his lower half lighter. So as he comes up in the air, he's caught on my foot. I'm holding his weight up here on my chest so his legs are very light and that lets me kind of rotate. And then I can even use my right foot on the inside of his thigh. Like kind of like a scissor sweep or butterfly sweep. Any questions? Yeah. Yeah. I would say they're equally important. It's like you're pulling him to complete the part of the move that the extension doesn't complete. Because your leg can only extend so far to kind of maximize that directional force, I have to pull him into it. So it's a pull and a push. So it's, we're pushing at the bottom and pulling at the top. 
to create the motion. So the pull, don't relax your arms too much. The first step can be relaxed. The second step, it's like. Okay, any other questions? This one's pretty tough, so take it nice and slow. If, if their, their grip or my grip? Oh, I see. So if his hand is just down like this, no, it, you can just kind of keep it down here, but definitely bring it across if you can. So like whenever you have a sleeve grip, face her kind of. If you can ever cross his arm across the center line, that's a really good place to be because that lets you kind of like, it, may, it forces him to give his back to me. So if, if, if that happens, you may have other options. Like this, this one is best if he's grabbing the collar. If he's not grabbing the collar, I might not go for this one. I would probably go for the, the, the Tomonagi one, like this. So face, yeah, perfect, yeah. But kind of start from just a classic square up, grab behind his, his tricep. Yeah, just like, yeah, like, yeah, there you go. So step across, don't step back. You just immediately step across. And then, that was really good. That was perfect. You don't usually want to like try and go to mount. I mean, you can really, if it feels good, go for it. I try and kind of like put my foot under because the, the, the more they resist, the heavier they're going to set their weight back. And having that kind of hook on the right side can help you pull them up more and flip them at the same time. Step across, not back. Yeah, that was good. I have no corrections. Yeah, so th this is kind of tricky. So I don't expect you guys to land this one perfectly. But the idea is to make him step, and then before, while that leg's still far away, we get our leg straight already. We don't push at the end. We put, we're, our leg is straight now. And we pull him into that. See that? So the leg is straight as you go to the ground and then pull him in at the same time. All, what you did is you just kind of put it here and then you sat down and then tried to extend. And that's just too hard. No one would be able to do that. Go ahead and try it again. That was really good. You just were a little too high up his leg. Right, because remember, his leg is like a lever. So the closer we are to the fulcrum point, the weaker the force will be. So if you go lower, it's going to be much easier to push. So just put it like right here. Okay. Yeah, try again. Oh, that, that, was, that was the right idea, but you do have to kind of engage like a monkey foot scenario. We're like really trying to like stick your foot and cl clamp it with your toes if you have to, to kind of keep it in place. Okay. Try again. Yes, that was beautiful. That was the one. So when I step across, I want to straighten my leg first while I'm still standing. The leg extends here at the knee. And then as I fall, now I don't have to worry about like my knee extending. My leg's already fully extended. Okay. The rest is just pull. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah. Like engage them so that they're like, if you give them a couple shakes, they're going to square up their feet. Yes. And then when I step across, that foot's really going to step. And then straighten the leg early while I'm still in, like while I'm still standing, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's step, straighten. Mm -hmm. okay. that makes sense. Keep the leg like that. Like, Looks stiff. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> Stick the foot early, yes. Nice. Little over rotation, but that's the right idea. So you kind of just, ro you kind of momentumed into it. Just extend the leg and fall straight back and pull him straight into you. Yeah. And that was pretty good. <laughs> try, try and do this with your foot, like. The, your foot's kind of got to like clamp on the outside okay. to stick. It's like, okay, okay. don't go like that. Go like, yeah. that's how you, s more surface area. <laughs>
Yeah. Hook, hook your toes, yeah. And don't be so far away from me. You can do this one from like a closer position. It's like a more engaged sneak attack. Oh, that was so close. You just didn't pull him in enough. So you pulled at the last second. You pulled when his hips were up and then you pulled. But the pull actually happens while you're still standing and as you're falling. Because I feel like he's not on top of me. Exactly. So as you do it as you're falling, he's going to end up on top of you. And that's when you're going to be able to actually get some leverage with the twist. Try it again. I'm not leaving until you do it perfectly. <laughs> that was really good. You still were late on the pull, but like it, it's just because it's not instinct yet. Pull first, like get that pull. It's like right when your foot touches, the pull happens. <laughs>